Hi, I'm Supercat, and today I'm doing a demo for batch simulations. And by batch simulations, I really mean testing out lots of combinations of things, you know, to find answers to questions like, you know, what the best talents are, the best legendaries, uh, even the best artifact path. As we go through this video, you'll see some button overlays to jump to other sections of the video. Although I do highly recommend watching all the way through to the end of the batch talent section, because I cover some extra information there. And that section ends just after the four minute mark. So we start everything on the simulation setup page, and it's important to go through and set your character up the way you want to, making sure you have the desired gear and trinkets selected, the right relics, talents, and so on. And you can change any of these things pretty quickly. Uh, for example, I just click on any item in the gear list to put something else on. For talents, I expand the talent section and select the setup that I want to use, and I'm going to pick something at random here because I'm not a warlock expert. Anyway, you get the idea. Now you might be wondering why it's important to do the setup when I'm about to test some of these same things, like talents. And that's because if you're testing talents, you still need the gear for the simulator to use. And then you can also view reports based on the setup that you have set as a reference. So if you're testing talents, you can compare the DPS gains or losses with the setup that you had started with. Uh, or you can set no talents in your regular setup and it'll use that as the reference. So I'll point this feature out in a little bit when we look at some of the reports. Okay, now we have our initial character ready and we're gonna set up a batch simulation. Over here on the right, I changed the sim type from single run to batch and then you see a bunch of these options show up. Everything defaults to current, which uses the character information that you just set up. And you'll see that there is a blank option which removes those from the simulation. If you, have, if you blank out your talents, you'll have no talents in the batch, which is a little bit weird uh, for some of these setups, but hey, you can do it. But the more likely use here is to blank out the legendary or trinkets, and what that will do is lock the stats from those items in place, but it will remove the special effects. Okay, and now we're ready for some actual demos. And let's start with one of the more popular batch options, talent comparisons. So I'm going to click on the drop down here and select combos which will let me set up a bunch of the talents that I want to do and have Mr. Robot make all of the necessary combinations for me. And again, I'm not a warlock expert, but I was chatting with some of them and they were interested in testing Shadowburn versus Roaring Blaze, the whole second row, the whole So Harvest row, and all of the grimoires and the whole last row. And now I just set the remaining rows to blank and close this window. You can see that Mr. Robot configured 162 combinations for me and that's all I want to test right now, so I am going to click Simulate. Then Mr. Robot will always pop up a message that estimates the amount of time it will take to run. And if it looks like it'll take too long, you can cancel this and then change the targeted margin of error or do less combinations or anything else that helps you make it faster. And the batch simulations use your computer and the client program, even though you set everything up on the web. So for me, this is estimated to take, to take only eight minutes, so I'm gonna click Confirm and let this run. Once it's done running, the report is uploaded to the website for you. And by default, the report is ordered from the highest DPS result to the lowest. But we can customize this view and even share it. So let's expand the customize view section at the top. So I don't have a view column on this uh, report yet, so I'm going to add one. And then you can see that the column shows up with a link to view each talent setup for that combination. So I just click it and I can get a nice view instead of having to read each column. And I like that it's ordered by DPS, so I'm gonna leave that alone and I can choose ascending or descending. And then uh, we get to my personal favorite view, which looks at the percentage gains and losses compared to my reference. So to do that, I'm going to check the box that says subtract reference and the percent box. Remember how I picked a few Warlock talents at random when I set up my character? So that's what Mr. Robot is using at this, as this reference. So you can see how each of the combinations in this batch compares to that one. Now that we have the view set up, we can click the Save This View and Share button and get a link that uh, we can post anywhere for people to see the results. And then lastly, for those of you who love spreadsheets, you can download the CSV and work all sorts of magic on it. The columns are standardized uh, so that no matter what you run, you can use the same formulas or scripts from one spreadsheet to the next. Okay, so let's take a look at some of the artifact batch runs. Now if you've skipped right to this chapter, let me take a minute to remind you that your character setup is very important here. Your gear and talents are taken into account when finding the best path, so make sure you take time to do that. All right, so while some of you saw the artifact options in the batch simulation setups, we're actually going to take a look at a special artifact path mode, and then we're gonna come back to these after. So in the sim type menu, I'm going to select the artifact path option, 
Once I select that, you'll see an artifact rank field show up. This is the number of traits that you want Mr. Robot to calculate the best path for, which you can set between 13 and 25. Now you might be wondering, why wouldn't I want all 34? So the oversimplified answer is that Mr. Robot finds the best combinations and path for the number of traits that you specify. And then after he finds that, he takes a greedy approach to find the rest. The idea behind the greedy approach is that you'll spend about five days at each trait until you get the next one if you're doing all of your dailies. So you want to make sure that you pick a high value trait. Okay, so we're ready to click simulate. The pop-up tells me there are 244 combinations and it will take about 18 minutes. Not bad, considering if I had to go through all of these on my own, it might take 18 days, not 18 minutes. Anyway, let's give this a shot. Here's the nice visual that Mr. Robot automatically generated for us, and we can see the recommended full artifact path. And I can mouse over each trait to see the amount of damage that it does, which is calculated as the damage increase from the previous trait. Now you may notice there's no customized view option like we saw in the other batch reports, and that's because this is the view. So if you want to share it, you can just copy the URL in the address bar. And the other reports have that save and share button uh, so that you can share the specific customized view that you did. Now there are a couple of other artifact simulations you can do, and for that we go back to the custom batch menu. I'm going to select the combo option for artifacts, and then you see a mode selector shows up. So these modes take the artifact path sim type that we had previously looked at, and it kind of breaks it apart. The path option finds the single best setup for the number of traits that you want, just like in the example we had above where I had set it to 25. And the next option tells Mr. Robot to choose the next best trait from your current artifact progress. So this is actually really useful for Legion as you level up your artifact and that you get gear, maybe you get a legendary, sometimes the legendaries affect the traits. Uh, and because of this, Mr. Robot will take your entire current setup into account and figure out what you should do next. So it will be really useful uh, as you level up, so come back then. And then the minor node calculates the damage or healing or tanking goodness for each point gained in a trait. And it's a really interesting way to view these artifact traits, and since we pretty much know what the path and the next modes already do, uh, let's go ahead and select the minor one and see what that looks like. And here's the report. So this is telling me that each point I spend in Burning Hunger is worth 1,945 DPS based on my current setup with the gear and talents and everything that I selected. Now for those of you interested, you can customize this view, but be sure to read all of the tooltips we have on normalization and deltas and whatnot uh, because it can get a little bit hairy. It's not for the faint of heart. Now, the other interesting thing uh, I want to point out here is that this report also kind of tells us how valuable different relics are, because th these relics give you one point in a specific trait, so this is a pretty handy view for that as well. Now let's look at one more thing and make it gear related, and uh, I already picked a new class, the Unholy Death Knight. So you can do set bonuses, legendaries, trinkets, or combine any of those with talents, and so on. But for now, let's do something simple and look at a couple of legendary and set bonus combinations. So I'm going to pick two of the tier 19 set bonuses here. And then for fun, let's pick all of the legendary items, and I'm going to set the max legendary to 1. Now, when it comes to items with special procs, like legendary set bonuses and trinkets, Mr. Robot is doing something special just for those. He takes your character setup and then he locks the stats and plates so that when he tests the special proc, he's able to isolate just the proc so that you get a really fair ranking. Now I'm going to click simulate to get my estimated runtime to make sure I didn't get out of control here and I see that it's actually pretty short. <laughs> so we could easily throw some more combos at Mr. Robot without worrying about melting my computer, like some talents or more items or increase the legendaries to two, but for now let's just keep this one simple and run it. Alright, on this report here you can see that uh, each combination is listed out for us already. Uh, you've got the set bonus in the first column, and then the legendary item in the second column, and of course the DPS. Now, remember that you can customize any of these views and then save and share it. So that's the quick preview, and thanks for hanging out. There's a lot more things you can do with the batch simulations that you probably saw on the opening screen that I haven't covered yet, like all sorts of different combinations, comparing different rotations or boss fights, the list goes on. Anyway, if you have any questions, just stop by our forums or our Discord. We're always happy to help.